we are about to take on a new challenge, dealing with proposals describing an app concept. How can we use those to extract the initial app requirements? You may find yourself in this situation on a number of occasions. The most common ones are, it seems relatively simple and easy to grasp from the concept description what an app is supposed to look like and what functionalities it should have. Or, the concept description is in the very initial stages of development, the appearance and functionality isn't completely set, and the plan is to work with other participants to define the details along the way. In either case, there are a couple of stages of the concept description transformation we need to perform before we start the development. Analyze the description and sketch out the interface and user flow. This may require collaboration with other participants and a couple of iterations. Once the sketches are in, create mockups and proceed with the implementation. In this course, we'll work on an application called Listen App, an app which sources iTunes music in various categories. It will allow us to view details of a selected item and redirect to iTunes for purchase if the user decides to explore more. It will also present the user with related swag for each music category and will direct them to external resource should the user express interest. So, let's analyze the potential functionality starting with the interface and user flow. As the app launches, we'll display a list of music items and then let the user select a particular category. Should the user want to know more about an item, we'll display some details and present an option to navigate to iTunes. And the final component, presenting related swag, will develop a smart algorithm that will allow us to add monetizing aspect to the app. This is a good start. Lots of new things to learn to accommodate these app requirements. We'll continue in the next chapter.